In this question on circle theorems, we are told that in the diagram A, B, C, D are point on the circle with center O here. Now, if the length of A, B and B, C are equal, so we have A, B and B, C, they are equal. That's why they even notch them. An angle A, D, C is 50. So A, D, C, this angle here is 50 degrees. Our mandate is to find angle bad. Okay, let's look at that. Is angle B, A, D. So this angle here is what we are mandated to find. So this angle here is what we are mandated to find, okay? Now, looking at this particular diagram, a very crucial point that will help us is to divide this particular diagram. Since we are told that there is this length AB equal to BC, let's bring in an isosceles triangle that we can have the base of that isosceles triangle to be equal. So we can just say we want to look at a scenario in which we have from point A to point C. This is as good as it gets. Okay, and then we can see that from this particular diagram, first and foremost, we can say we want to find this angle ABC. And I can see that ABC and ADC, they are opposite angles of this cyclic quadrilateral. First, I can say angle ABC plus angle ADC, the sum is 180 degrees. Why? And why am I saying that? Is because they are sum of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral so our understanding of that will help us to solve this question and then we have given adc as 50 so abc that means that angle abc will be nothing but 180 minus adc and adc is 50 so this is 130 degrees so we can just append it on the diagram that this is 130 degrees okay now, that being 130 degrees, I can call this angle here, the base angles of the isosceles triangle, if I just call each one of them X, let me say this is, this angle here, this is X, and this angle here, they will also be X. And I'm saying do, both of them are X because they are the base angles of isosceles triangle, meaning that I can say angle BAC is equal to angle BCA, and I'm appending them as X. And I'm saying this because they are base angles of isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle have two of its sides equal. And then the base angles equal. Alright. So, that is good and fine. I think I can also look at the triangle ACD. Or particularly the angle ACD. And this angle ACD will be 90 degrees. Why am I saying it's 90 degrees? Because it is the angle subtended at the circumference. By the diameter AOD of the circle. So I can look at this and say angle ACD is nothing but a right angle, is 90 degrees. And I'm saying that because it is angle subtended at circumference of the circle by the diameter of the circle. So these are how get towards my getting this particular angle BADA. So since I have gotten that, I can now say that 130 degrees plus angle x plus angle x this 130 plus this x plus this x the three of them they are the angles of the triangle abc and the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so i'm postulating this because they are the sum of angles of the triangle abc okay such that i will have 2x to be 180 minus 130 which is 50 and then x itself will be 50 over 2 and that will be 25 degrees so x is 25 degrees and that is good and fine but i can also look at this particular region and say i can find this angle if i call that y okay if i'm calling this y i can see that from the triangle acd y plus 90 plus 50 is going to be 180 degrees and because they are the sum of angles of a triangle so i can say Furthermore, the angle Y plus the ACD that I got as 90 degrees initially plus the 50 degrees that we are given as angle ADC plus that 50 degrees, the three of them, they had up to 180 degrees because they are the sum of angles of the triangle ACD, the triangle ACD. And with that, I can find my Y to be 180 minus the sum of 90 and 50 that is 140 so y is nothing but 40 degrees and 
what I was originally asked to find, we are told that it is angle BAD. Now we can see from the diagram that angle BAD is the combination of X and Y. Look at this. Just this is the interesting thing that we should be doing in our question. This angle X, okay, and then this angle Y. You can see that the two of them are what constitute angle BAD, which we are looking for. So we can easily say the angle BAD is the sum of X and Y. And what is our X? We got X to be 25, so X is 25 degrees. What is our Y? Y is 40 degrees. So angle BAD is nothing but 65 degrees. And with that, we've been able to solve this question, making use of the properties of triangles and the circle quadrilateral and the angles obtained at the circumference by the diameter to get the value of angle BAD at 65 degrees.